Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video, and today we are back on regular Ultimate Team. I guess this can be considered another episode of The Road to Glory today. We don't have, I, I, I appreciate you guys getting all the likes on yesterday's video, and I kind of said that I was going to open the Festival of Football, or Team of the Match, they guaranteed pack, but that SBC is just ridiculous, man. I'm not going to spend like 600, not 600k, 60k or 100k to get a player that's probably not going to be even that good, and it's not good as many Team of the Seasons already out. So today we have a draft for you guys. I don't know what the title of this is going to be, but of course we have the Festival of Football players, we have the World, uh, like the world something players like world cup classic players um and then we have two team of the match days i believe and all that good stuff so we have a lot of players that we can't get in the draft we're going to be taking every single one of them and putting them into the starting 11 and seeing how they do play in game uh we're going to use coins to enter this draft so yeah guys drop a like on the video if you haven't already turn your notifications on for some daily content on fifa whether that's world cup in real life content or just some ultimate team and gameplay and all that good stuff we're going to get into it let's go so we are going to enter the online draft with coins, as I did say, 15,000 coins down the drain, most likely, but at least our packs are going to be tr oh my god, oh my god, okay, these, these formations kind of suck, okay, 4-4-1-1 is pretty bad, uh, 3 4 one two is awful, 4 4 two is decent, um, we're going to go for 4 4 two just because I like the formation in game, it's not necessarily a formation that's good to get players in. Now, Neymar, better card, everyone has a better card here. But we're gonna take uh, Lionel Messi, 94 rated center forward. I don't, I didn't want to take that card. I could have taken David Silva just because, but I mean, whatever. Um, right here, we're gonna take. Uh, we're not gonna. Are we gonna? Yeah, are we gonna take Rakitic? No, because he has a card. So we're gonna take Nangolin just because he's not at the World Cup. Um, so hopefully that doesn't affect us that much. We are gonna take Theo. We're gonna take Ta Talvon right here. Ta Tovan. Um, just because he's very high rated now to the left center mid we could take Paul Pogba Which we would be nice get the link up with uh, Tovan, but right here We're gonna take Tony Kroos just to get the link up with Lionel Messi try and get some links going and then right here Let's see if we can build a Calcio a side or we can get uh, One to watch a bombing and 97 striker Ronaldo, I'll take that 97 rated striker cool um, not too shabby there and right here at the left mid spot We are going to go ahead and take Pereira just because there's no one really there Is he a he's, is he's on loan from United, right? I thought he used to be a center mid. How old is he? 1996 he's like what 21 22 something like that. That's that's cool. Uh, Jordi Alba. Okay, we will Jordi Alba I already have him on my RTG as you guys do know I think he's a fantastic left back one of the best in the game right here Naldo would be cool. Martinez is going to be the guy that we kind of have to take just because he gets that link up with Jordi Alba. No one else that we can really take there. Cesar Azpilicueta is one I want to take because he has 87 pace as a center back. I really want to go ahead and try him out. Um, at the right back spot, are we going to get a new one? Good. Not really. DeMarcos wouldn't be bad to get back into the La Liga. Uh, Roberto Orier wouldn't be bad either, but we are going to go ahead and take DeMarcos here uh, just because of that pace. Not too bad there. There. And then in the goalkeeper spot, can we get a David De Gea special card? No, we can't. So we're going to take Adan there. And that's actually pretty garbage. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, nothing really. Apart from the two, uh, Messi, are not, uh, in, are not our nine, CR7, and Jordi Alba and Aspi. Everything else is not that great, and I'm a bit disappointed as to what we have gotten so far. So we're going to take the subs. We're going to start off with the defense. Can we buff up the defense? No, we can't. Okay, well, this is... This is awful. Um, Nathaniel Klein is going to be right there. We're going to take him just in case we want to go Premier League on the right-hand side. Uh, jo Jordi Cahill? Who's Jordi Cahill? Uh, Antonio Valencia is going to be the man right there. We keep getting the same defenders. I don't know why. Marcos Alonso, Kimmich. All these guys are popping up over and over. Quadrado, I believe, has a better card. Uh, yeah, he has, a, he has a better card, definitely. Uh, we're going to take Milinkovic Savic here just because um, he's a very good midfielder. And he could be used as a sub. We're getting... Why, why am I getting these cards? Like, we're getting these regular cards when they all have better versions of their cards and I don't know why we're getting them. Um, this is kind of frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. We get Gonzalo Higuain, we get Ibrahimovic. I hate Ibra in this game. I think he's awful actually. So we're gonna take Higuain right there. 
Um, no one else that we could have really taken right there that could have helped us at all. Uh, we get Pedro, we get Thibaut Courtois, which is going to be the guy that we do take. We're going to put him in goal. He will get full chemistry and so will everyone else. And he puts uh, Cesar Azpilicueta on full chem as well, which does help a lot. We get a freaking garbage. Like, look at these picks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight regular picks out of I don't know how many we've done so far. But uh, eight regular gold cards is just an absolute joke. We get Kieran Mbappe here, um, I guess if we're going to play a guy on the right hand side on 7 chem or 6 chem, whatever, I think it might as well be him. What else can we get here? We get Medi Benate and Willian here. Willian is not going to help much, doesn't get a link up with anyone really. I mean, I could I, I could put Valencia right back and then put Willian in. Uh, Benate doesn't really link up with anyone, um, so I guess we will go ahead and have to take Willian. We will go ahead and do that. Chem goes down, but Chem will go up right now when I put him in. There we go, 98 chemistry. I really need to sneeze for some reason. I feel like I need to sneeze all the time in these videos. Um, man, this is, this is rough. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty this is pretty rough. This is actually kind of annoying. Um, we're gonna take Fekir's not gonna help. We're gonna take Handanovic just for the rating. Why not? Handanovic is gonna go there. Sterling, I guess why not? We'll put him in the uh, the right wing spot, right mid spot, right there. Guy I haven't tried either. And then final goalkeeper spot. We are going to get okay, Joel Robles, the goat himself. So what overall is this? Uh, team gonna be we're gonna take the 81s out. We're gonna put the 89 in we're gonna take uh, the markers out We're gonna put uh, Kieran Mbappe in and we are going to take uh, Nathaniel Klein in and put William so overall Am I happy with this? No, not at all. I think this is awful. I think this draft is actually god awful Like look how many normal gold cards gold cards. I have I have a non rare I have two non rares in my starting 11 like that is pretty pathetic when you think about it um yeah, this is pretty bad. So I guess we're going to go ahead and play with this team. Um, I'll be back in just a second to get the post -com and all that stuff since I will be recording the games that I do play. Hopefully we can win. If I don't win, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, as usually when I do videos on drafts, my my cam isn't really ever good. Or my team isn't really ever good. So I'm not even surprised that this team isn't even that great. Um, I guess if I switch Kroos and our uh, CR7 to the right hand side, I guess I will get more cam. So I will take him I think that's smart right I'm gonna take the German manager just because I think it's gonna help in the long run I think it will get us 100 cam so we're gonna skip that we're gonna switch it over and I think this should work uh, we're at 98 cam right now we switch that over switch that over there we go 100 chemistry right there how I told you guys um, 100 190 draft okay not too bad we got a couple team of the seasons we get um, CR7, we get Striker Messi, um, we get Gonzalo Higuain, I'm going, and Mbappe, well, I'm cool. I mean, I just really wanted to try out the Festival of Football cards. None of them even showed up. We, we got so many of the cards, but none of them showed up. So we're going to go ahead and get into the games. Let's go. All right, guys, so here we are a couple hours later, and we go into the draft. We go into the gameplay, and for the first game, we come up against Inzaghi, Maradona, Hadji. It's throwing uh, the Moses card that we probably would have... I, I wish we could have gotten. Dav De Gea, Walker, Naldo, De Bruyne, uh, Leroy Sané, Danny Rose, and a couple other icons. We start off the game very, very well. Now, this guy, this opponent, was a bit annoying to play against. The first two opponents, I hated to play against them because this guy, the first guy, uh, he was just rushing me. Every single time I got the ball, you would see his players just start be making a beeline towards me and absolutely trying to kill me to get the ball back. And it was pretty frustrating. He was playing very, very aggressively and very impatiently, um, which kind of counters my gameplay. And when people do that, I always really struggle and it's annoying to play against them. Um, but I did manage to pull through in this first game. The title of this video is most likely the best striker I have ever used and or something along those lines, but striker CR7, the 97 one that I have, I think it is, it's basically his 98 card, the Festival of Football one, but his striker card is insanity, man. He is so, so, so good, man. He, the runs he makes, the finishing, 
everything about him is just so so good we come up against the festival of football cr7 which i wish i could have came up again or gotten in, in my draft we come up against hazard the broino once again uh timothy Rodgers, lingard messi walker godin yashin in goal um titty and then jordi alba at left back yashin did come up big for him in the beginning but we did manage to get a pen to break the deadlock before halftime one nil and i dab on him because this guy Every time I try to go for the ball, he would just hold LT and move his player to the other side and just kind of dribble around me. And it was it was very frustrating, but I, I, I figured that I could do the same thing, basically. And I just started passing it around the back, which um, eventually led to another goal. A very nice work goal. Messi is going, or Mbappe, I believe that is, is going to find CR7 through. And CR7 is going to have a very, very nice, easy finish past Yashin 2-0. And that is going to be the game. First two games, how I said, were very really frustrating, but CR7 did score in both of those. I believe he got a brace. Excuse me. He got a brace in both of those games, uh, which was, of course, four goals in two games. Very, very good. Um, we did sub on nine goal on and Mbappe as well, and then Milinkovic Savage from time to time. We go into the third round. We come up against Icardi, Higuain, Messi, uh, David Silva team of the season with um, Eriksen, Valencia, Vertonghen. Uh, Laporte, Courtois, Jordi Alba, and Gundogan, a very good team, very solid team. His center backs are a bit slow, but apart from that, it's a very solid team. He goes up 1-0 with, with Icardi in the beginning of the game. I'm like, okay, let me let me get into this. So, we find CR7 through CR7, great finish, 1-1. We are back into the game, and I am telling myself, okay, let's, um, he's, he pauses it. So, we make some changes. We bring on our big boys, Aspo Equa, to find CR7. CR7 is going to have some very, very nice footwork right there, and we get a bit lucky on this goal to be completely honest uh actually no not this goal the next goal cr7 great finish right there um this guy wasn't very good to be completely honest like i, I don't think I, you guys are gonna think i'm done for saying that because you'll see why in a sec um but this goal was the lucky goal by nine goal and i i had the ball ba bounce back to me so i guess that was a bit of luck right there nine goal and, uh does finish it and puts us up 3-1 and i'm like okay at 3-1 this point i should be able to take control of this game uh, maybe put a couple more past them and then completely close it out he gets a pen before the half, which I just didn't want him to score before the half. I dive the right way. Courtois scores it on her own goal as it gets off his legs. And he is going to find some space in my box. Finds Messi. Messi with the right footed shot past t -Bout Courtois, team of the season. Ties it up 3-3. And I'm like, oh man, I'm going to lose this game just because that's how FIFA works. This is one of my best goals I've scored all year. Look at this Look at this play. To Mbappe, to CR7. And CR7 past the goalkeeper. Great goal. Go replay that. That was a beautiful, beautiful goal. I love that goal so, so much. Um, just because those, those are like my signature goals. I, I score those all the time. Um, but that was one of my better ones this year so far and I hate I hate conceding corners because I can't score them and I never see I, I don't remember the last time I scored a corner header and CR7's by himself my CR7 was supposed to mark his CR7 but my CR7 stood still and did nothing this goal makes no sense because I have my two center backs right next to each other but they leave Messi by himself and I'm thinking like why are you both on the right side and not marking Messi like Mm, what? And usually I do my rewards live, but I was pissed off that I lost a game like that, so I just went ahead and recorded it, and we got nothing. So, this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. This will be the end of the draft as well. Tomorrow, I will probably be reviewing some festival football players or something like that, something along those lines. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next video. Have a nice day.